Hey there guys, it's Plumore here with another episode of Eastside Hockey Manager with Nottingham Panthers. Um, <clears throat> here's the result between Manchester and Milton Keynes, you can pause if you want to watch that. Um, today we have a big signing in the works that's going to happen. Which you're probably seeing the start of right now, Mitchell Morose, I think his name is pronounced. I do not know if, it's, if that's correct though. But, yes. <coughs> Pardon me, and uh, yeah, there's more results if you're interested in them. Offer of contract to Mitchell. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, so I just keep it Mitchell. Anyway, let's make his contract to the end of there, <coughs> and uh, let's give him a bit more money. I'll probably accept that because they don't get paid well in their league, but. Last episode there was problems with the recording that failed, that won't ever happen again I promise. Uh, here we beat Sheffield 4-0, you can see the scores there if you're interested. Anyway, uh, that won't ever happen again. And uh, we signed Jacob Doty from the Brayhead clan as they put him up for, made or made him available, sorry. And we just approached with a really small uh, amount of money to them and they accepted it so we signed him and he was uh, lenient as well he wanted 32,000 a year we gave him 27 and he accepted it so it's quite good anyway we're gonna get rid of Mosey because he's injured and for probably for the rest of the season and I don't want to carry too many imports and don't want to overload our salary so I'm just gonna get rid of players that we don't need Jeff Brown's leaving as well since we signed Doty because Doty in this game is a upgraded version of Jeff Brown basically. And uh, yeah, here we beat Dundee 6 3 with Brown getting a hat trick, ironically. But Doty, I still believe he's a upgrade. Doty with two assists there as well. You might have even had more, and you saw the bottom two, but oh well. And there's Player of the Week if you're interested. And. Yeah, we've been hit quite badly with injuries this season. So hopefully that can change next season. But I'm not counting on it. Anyway, here's the final of the CHL if you're interested. HP71 win it. Uh, Sheffield versus Cardiff. And Cardiff claimed the victory there. Jan Sove's been praised. He got a 10 in this last game. Okay, I'll probably praise him. Uh... Our manager. Yeah, he doesn't look great. His tactical knowledge is good, but other than that, he doesn't look great. Five versus Belfast. Okay, seems I left this loading screen then. Oh well, we can live with that. Video is not very long anyway. Um. Yes. Uh. Next year we're gonna have pretty much a rebuild, other than hopefully. Doty, he's only on a one year deal for the rest of the season and uh, Moros, Moros I think his name is he signed for this season and two more after that we beat Sheffield 2-0 Doty gets a goal so that's a, it's a good thing obviously uh, injured praise for left winger ok Ryan Nye I think he's quite a decent goalie in this game Five versus Edinburgh, now us versus Cardiff. And we win 5 2. That's a very good victory for the Nottingham Panthers here. 5 2 victory out of Cardiff there. Help us in the standings. Belfast are looking to storm away with it this year, to be honest. But uh, in this game, more important is playoffs, so. It's not in real life in England, but it is in this game, so we'll. Just continue this game, hopefully make a push for the playoffs and the Challenge Cup. Uh, I'm not sure if we have a Challenge Cup game though. If we're knocked out or anything, I'm not 100% certain. Uh, small stuff here that's not really too important. Milton Keynes has Edinburgh, you can pause that if you want. Five versus Brayhead. Five get the victory. Uh, Murphy. Okay, stats weren't as good as I thought they were going to be. Here we go up against Cardiff again. 
and Cardiff get the victory this time 4-2 we beat them last time so you can't be too upset although Galbraith started which is interesting Scarnet's has starter though I think I put Galbraith to start actually last time I forgot to change it and here we have got a 3-2 victory over the Brayhead clan and our new player gets a goal second goal of the game and most is released uh, he looks like a decent goalie but they don't rate, they're not rating him in the uh, commentary which is a shame but yeah let's keep going through this uh, praise of Breeze Bar and David Clark I'm just not gonna praise him, not gonna build him up I'm not gonna build up Clark either both of them solid players Clark's probably gonna retire after this season but he's a legend for the club anyway if you guys enjoyed this then leave a like rating comment if you've got any suggestions let's scout his brother actually Travis Erdhart and uh, yeah subscribe so upload daily you can see this every other day and UFC in between then as well Travis Erdhart he looks like he signed in Brayhead in real life this season uh, we beat Dundee 5-2, it's a good victory for us again and uh, yeah, starting to drag away from them overtime wins, although we lose 4-1-5 to five, which is a shame but we just won 5-2 so you can't be too upset I guess although we want to be stringing wins together rather than just getting one win, one loss, one win but like I said, the game, the game's attitude is more about playoffs rather than the league. Anyway, let's play Edinburgh here, and uh, they win 4-2. Okay, that's bad. You don't want to be losing to Edinburgh of all teams. Well, we probably need to sort that out. If if we keep losing, then something's got to change. If I'm honest. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. I, if you guys like, then leave a like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, this is the standings. We are confirmed playoffs, but behind Belfast. Thank you for watching, and peace.